Hello and welcome back to episode 29 of Basking in Bilbao. We're back today for the final two games of the season. One of which is going to be extremely important to us finishing in the top four. However, only if we can do the job in the first game. Just before we get into the episode, please do leave a like down below. Comment your prediction for where we're going to finish the season and subscribe if you are enjoying the content on the channel. The support is greatly appreciated. Since you were last with us, when we won the Copa del Rey against Villarreal, we beat Hatafe 3 0 with three late goals from Inaki Williams, two from Inaki, one from Albonia Menor, 3 0 against Espanyol, then three draws in a row 1 1 away to Real Sociedad, of course, our rivals. 0-0 away to Real Madrid, despite going down to 10 men. And 0-0 away to Valencia. I'll be honest, despite that it's three draws where we've scored one goal across the three games, not a bad run. When you look at the teams we've played, you know, Valencia and Real Madrid in the battle for the top four. Real Sociedad, although not really in, not in the battle, but they're still our rivals, so it's still a good result against them. Barcelona already secured the title, 10 points clear with two games in hand, sorry, two games to go, one in hand over Atletico. Villarreal, however, have just beat Alaves, which means we need a result against Real Betis to give us a chance on the final day of jumping back above Villarreal. To do that, we've got a 4-4-2. We've still got the 4-1-4-1. This is just an adaptation, which I, I mentioned that I was thinking of trying. So Unai Simon in goal. A back four of Audrey Zola, Vivian, Martinez and Emmanuel. Williams, Albongi, Emmanuel and Sansei and Munyain in the middle. And then Penna and Aguirre up front. What we are going to do is just drop these two back to support. So that hopefully they're going to give a bit more support to the defence that otherwise wouldn't be there. Munyain with a corner kick goes to the far post. Williams nods it back down and somewhere in there, Edgar got in and... Cleared the ball away for another corner. Munyain's going to play this one short to Williams. He cuts behind him, plays it back inside to Munyain, who curls one and hits the bar. What a goal that would have been for Munyain. Munyain wins the ball on the le left hand side for us, breaks away down the wing. Can he get it back into the middle? Emmanuel to Sanse. He plays it on to Penna, through to Inaki Williams, one on one with the keeper. That should be two. That should be a goal. Shouldn't be two nil. We need to make it 1-0 before that. Goal kick for Real Betis. Vivian wins the header and then Rodri heads it away. But Albonio Menor sends it on to Aguirre who collects the ball and keeps it. However, Chiquinho with a good tackle to take the ball away. Real Betis are bottom of the league at the moment. They might even already be relegated. I don't know if we can really see that. Let's have a quick look at the league table. They're not already relegated, so they have got something to fight for here as Aguirre gets the ball across the box to Penna. Takes a deflection, but it goes in. We lead 1-0. That is exactly what we needed. Just coming up towards 20 minutes. We've not left it too late in the game for it to have been a concern that it was going to come. A little bit of a deflection, unlucky for the defender, but we lead nevertheless and keep that pressure on Villarreal. Odriozola with a corner, plays it short to Inaki Williams, plays it back to Odriozola, inside to Vivian, Munyain, that's two, that is a lovely worked short corner, which, has there been an update that's caused that, because for a while the short corners were just, you take a short corner, you play it back to the guy who took it and it'd be offside, that is something that you, we didn't used to see, it was a very, very well worked goal. Lato throws the ball into Pazella and it's back to Lato again. He plays it around the defence for Real Betis here, switches the play out towards Iglesias. Going to pretend I pronounced that right. And Vivian has just got a block on the line. Fantastic from Vivian there. Munyain plays a sh corner short to Williams. He switches it back to Munyain. Gets a shot off on his left foot and it goes just wide. Again, that does seem to be something that they have definitely improved in the update. We're approaching half-time here as Sabali has a throw in for Real Betis. 
Throws it into Shaquinho. Can he get across into the box? He can. And Rodri's there and hits the bar. That can't be the Rodri from Man City, can it? Have a quick look. It is not. Glad we confirmed that. 2 0. However, there's a good chance Rodri scores because we clicked on him. Sanse tries to find Pena, but Pena can't return it to anyone. Rodriguez on the ball now. He plays the ball all the way back to the goalkeeper. And they are comfortable in possession at the moment, but we're happy to have the, we're happy for them to have the ball back there. Now, of course, recently now I don't know when this video is going to come out because my schedule is all over the place at the moment. But I know we had the May half term recently, and my videos basically didn't exist that week because I had a week away. Well, not a week away, but I was busy that week, we'll say. I had a few days away and just had other stuff to do elsewhere. Aguirre finds the ball here, tries to find Penner, and he puts some pressure on Inaki Williams. Chance for a cross here. He plays it all the way back to Albongia Menor and it's headed back to Vivian in the end. Hopefully, by the time this video comes out, videos are a bit more regular again. They should be because I'm just back to being at work. So, fingers crossed. We're back to a bit no more of a normal schedule by the time this video comes out. Williams collects the ball, gets a cross in. Aguirre makes it 3-0. 24 goals for Aguirre now. If I remember correctly, I believe I said I expected him to get 25 goals this season. He's looking very on for that at the moment. One more goal, and that'll be his 25. Fantastic season for Aguirre. Free kick on the edge of the box here. Fakir stood over it, goes for goal and sends it over the bar. I think at this point, we are going to make a couple of changes. Martínez coming off for Nunes and Albongi and Menor coming off for Artola just because of the bookings. No, no other reason. And just as the clock runs into the final 10 minutes of what's looking like a comfortable win for Athletic Bilbao. Corner comes up for Real Betis actually. Do just want to say, I don't know how noticeable it's been. I've noticed it, but I don't know if that's one of those cases of because it's me doing it every day, I notice it more. But in a lot of my videos, there was kind of a hum in the background. And I figured out it was my computer used to be here. There might even be some clips where you can hear me trying to... You can definitely see me holding it and trying to hit it to shut up. Hopefully... That will have changed now. This is one of the first videos I've recorded since the change. The computer's now like down in this corner here. So hopefully, a microphone all the way up here won't pick up. It's humming when it's go going on. So therefore, hopefully the videos are just a little bit nicer to listen to. There's another free kick here late on. We're going to make a quick change here with... Bicandi coming on for Munyain on the left-hand side as we see out a 3-0 win against Real Betis. It keeps the pressure on Villarreal. We go into the final day of the season. If we beat Villarreal, we claim Champions League football for next season. And for the big game against Villarreal, we're actually going to go into it unchanged. This game, if we win... We qualify for the Champions League. If we do anything except win, we are playing Europa League football next year, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Don't get me wrong. I think, I've said it before, I think the Europa League is probably more where we can pick up a potential trophy. But, you know, if you can get Champions League football, you want Champions League football. So let's go out there and try and get it. We have a highlight straight from the kickoff here. Martez plays it out uh, back to Yuri. Yuri. Why do they call him Yuri? Imanol plays it forward to Aguirre. Tries to find Pena but doesn't quite manage to do so. And um, Pelmard plays it out for, from the back for Villarreal. Danjuma to Gerard. Down the wing to Arana. He cuts back but Inaki Williams nicks it there. Runs with it down the wing. Plays it inside to Pena. Back to Albongia Menor. He brings it forward. I definitely heard something to my... Oh my goodness. I heard something in my ear 
I look back and see the ball just as it flies into the top corner. Oh my goodness, what a goal from Aguirre. That's phenomenal. Chuck Wies is on the ball here for Villarreal. Plays it back to Gerald. Tries to switch it out to Dan Juma. Good interception from Audrey Zola there. Aguirre plays a ball down the wing to Williams. He's got space. Can he get a cross in and find someone? He can. Aguirre's in there. That's 2-0. Only six minutes in. Aguirre has gone and got that 25th goal. He's gone and got a 26th goal as well. And this has been a phenomenal start. Villarreal do not know what's hit them. Simply unbelievable. Penna on the ball here. Plays it back to Odrizola but loses the ball. Arena loses it back to Penna. He plays it inside to Albongi Ameno. He's forced wide but gets it to Odrizola. Ball into Aguirre. Ball falls nicely. For it's a hat trick. We're 20 minutes in. And Aguirre has scored a hat trick. He's walked into this game and gone, I'm not playing Europa League football to start the season. We might end up in it. Who knows? But Aguirre is saying, well, I'm doing everything in my power to get Champions League football. The ball's running through to the keeper. <laughs> Penner was nearly there. Sanse plays it back to Martínez and then back to Simon in goal. Yure out to Odrizola inside to Albongi Menor down the wing to Inaki Williams. He's got another chance for a cross here. Gets one in. Munyohe in this time. 4-0. We're 22 minutes in. This was a game I built up as being a really tough game to get us into the Champions League football. We've walked in and just blitzed them. This is a phenomenal performance. At this point, just very quickly as well. Williams is actually 30 years old now. So we are starting to look. A little bit at next season for Candy becoming... Oh, there's one back for Villarreal there. We, we are going to be starting to look at can Vicandi really push on and start to challenge for that first team place in the next year, two year. And possibly the same on the left with, with Munyayin. They are starting to get a little bit of age to them. Uh, not something that we need to be concerned about Villarreal have just got a second back. We need to be careful here. This this game is absolutely ridiculous. Six goals in less than half an hour. Well, we've reached half time. We've had four shots on target and scored all four of them. It's a little bit good. <laughs> Aguirre absolutely smashing it out of the park. As I was saying, we've got Munyayin... If we just go onto the tactic screen here a second. You've got Munyayin, who's 32 now. Inaki Williams, who's 30. So we are looking more and more at Berengu for, for another year or so. But then probably Nico Williams, Vikandi, and some of the yeah you know, some of the other players that are coming through to start replacing some of these guys. Sanse is now 25, so he's got still plenty of time in him. Imanol came in, he's 24. We could probably do with a left back this summer. But then you get to our centre backs. They're 30 and 34. So you've still got Nunes, who's 28. And then you've got some of the other guys that really need to start being blooded in next season, I feel. Vivian, for, for example. That's something that we will look at next season. Another corner, oh, <laughs> they've hit the bar again and it, we've managed to clear it away. Audrey Zola getting the final touch to send it away from our goal. But Villarreal, very good from corners it seems. Williams heads the ball away. Chuck Weezy is going to go and collect it. Munyain sweeps it away though. Arena with another corner. Pals there at the near post. I tell you what, their corners are just looking more and more dangerous as this game goes on. Merritt with a goal kick for Villarreal now. Florentino tries to play it out. Munyain nicks it very easily though. Switches it out to Williams. Low cross, Aguirre. That's four for Aguirre. Five on the day for 
Athletic Bilbao as long as it stands. I don't see any reason why it won't. It does stand. 5-2. Hopefully. Hopefully. That will be the goal that secures the win for us. Surely. They can't get back from this. But you can never put it past FM. We're going to bring Aspel Equator on for Imanol. And Munoz can come on for Albon Menel in midfield. Martinez with a free kick plays it short to Sanse. Through ball to Penner. Rounds the keeper. That should be a goal. But Williams is there to put it into an empty net. 6-2. That, I can now say, is game over. Lovely ball from Sanse to find Penner. Probably should be scoring. Gets a little bit of luck with the save falling straight to Inaki Williams, however. And our final change is going to bring Artola on for Sanse in what could be his final game for Athletic Bilbao. I don't think there's going to be many people leaving this summer, particularly not out of like the starting eleven. But there's a few people in the backup section that could well be on their way out, Artola being one of them. Fantastic performance there. 6-2 to qualify for the Champions League once again. And what else has happened on the final day? Valencia pick up a win against Barcelona. 6-2 for Elche against uh, Real Betis. Did go down in the end. Levante have pulled out a massive win against Espanyol to relegate Espanyol on the final day. Sending Granada down as well. Huesca, what did they do? Where are they? They got a 3-1 win. So they were on 32 points. They also saved themselves on the final day. So the first time in a while, we actually get a bit of a transfer budget. £21 million. We're not going to do a season review just because I feel like this episode's had enough going on in it. £21 million. Wage budget of £1.6 million per week. We're currently spending just under that. Nearly a hundred grand under it, so there's potential there for us to try and find somebody that we can bring in. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Let me know what you think we need to do in the summer. Subscribe if you are enjoying the content. And thank you very much for watching.